He's very happy. He really loves his puppy. This googly-eyed five-month-old pug is named Momotan. And for now, she's living amongst dozens of other newborn puppies. But these aren't your standard run-of-the-mill puppies. They don't know it, but Momotan and each of her puppy companions are clones. Biopsy sample. Using a tool called a biopsy punch, your veterinarian will cut out an 8 millimeter wide sample of flesh from the abdominal area of the dog. If your dog is alive, just one sample is enough. But if your dog is dead, you'll need to provide Suam with as many samples as possible to increase the chances of finding live skin cells. You then pack the sample with ice packs in a styrofoam box to keep it chilled and expedite it to Suam, which you can do so using normal shipping services like FedEx. And once the sample has passed through Korean customs, which can take an additional two to three days, Suam can finally get to work on cloning your dog. First, the sample is sterilized and cut into smaller pieces. Then it's treated with a reagent and chemically dissociated meaning the cells are separated from the tissue. The sample is then placed in a centrifuge, which allows the scientists to collect the cells and transfer them into a growth medium. One to two weeks later, Suam has the cells necessary for the cloning process. Suam then goes to a laboratory animal provider where they rent two dogs, an egg donor and a surrogate mother. Starting with the egg donor, doctors take the dog into an operating room where they sedate her place her on the operating table. For